today's COVID age where a large majority of the population is struggling due to government restrictions, due to the shutdown of our economy, something came into my YouTube feed and it was from a gentleman by the name of Gary Lamb, who I had never heard of before. I looked, it had 22,000 views and 11,000 likes or something like that. I'm like, oh, all right, let's check this one out. I have struggled my entire life. I've struggled to be on a straight and narrow. I've struggled to do the right thing. I struggled to, to, to do it properly, right? My father told me to never ever take anything from no one that you didn't deserve. Just don't do it. And I did my damnedest to live up to that legacy. You have a gentleman here who is describing what he's gone through in life. I could have been a murderer. I chose not to. I could have been a whole lot of shit, and I chose not to. And the reason why I say this is because of all the things that happened to me in my life. I was molested. I've been robbed by gunpoint. I've had all kinds of I've had all kinds of ill shit happen to me. I've been jumped, beaten, left for dead. I his struggle to keep on the straight and narrow, and he describes his day in terms of the fact of what he does and that he doesn't have the luxury to worry about Roe versus Wade or the inner workings of the political machine because he's just trying to keep his family fed and he demonstrates what he does for work in terms of delivering and unloading groceries for people and this is what he does all day for $120 a day and then he goes from there and does his Amazon flex in order to keep his family fed. That is all the shit that I gotta move today. I gotta move all this. These 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 bags of flour, and they go all the way back. You see, they go all the way back. We got 50 here. We have 25 here. We have another 18 down here, and another 15 here. Right? All this has to be moved, and I can't tell you how many of these are. You see all that? All this. Every one of these bags are 50 pounds. But his message is one of hope and his video took off. It was directed at Tim Pool, who is a political commentator who I listen to on a frequent basis, which is probably how it ended up in my feed. And he thanks Tim for helping unlock him from the stranglehold that democratic politics and the subservient role that they expect black people to play in terms of voting for them no matter what. And then he see, it says that Tim Pool opened him up to the possibility of Donald Trump and that he found that Donald Trump was a godsend. But the reason that this video took off is because it was one of hope. It was because of one of hard work of somebody who wanted to improve his life, who was struggling to improve his life. And it was, to some degree, it was the hero narrative. Somebody who's been beaten down over and over again, who picks himself up, who keeps going, who keeps struggling. And to watch him expand and thank people for the opportunities that he has when so contrary to what we see in society today where so many people are so ungrateful for the opportunities that they have here in the greatest country in the world. And I say that as somebody who's traveled to 60 countries around the globe, who's lived in Eastern Europe, who lives in Southeast Asia, and you guys have no idea how fortunate you are to have been born in the United States. And this is somebody who appreciates the opportunities that he has in front of him, who wants to make his life better. And his video took off. And now it was, I think it was pinned, uh, the pinned by Donald Trump. The video has is approaching 900,000 views as I just w look, took a look at it again. And it is a message of hope. And this is what we need here in society is a little bit of hope because there are so many people that are actively trying to tear it down, that see the world as a zero sum game. I win, you lose. That is not how human beings have made progress over all these years to get to the society we have today where so many things are available at our fingertips. This is a result of a capitalistic system that has rewarded innovation. And this is a wonderful and beautiful thing that people are just trying to rip out of the system. So I commend you, Gary Lamb, for your message that has reached and resonated, obviously, with so many people. I just want to say thank you, man. I know this video is long as hell, but I needed to show you this so you can see this is what I'm fighting for. Just to be able to take care of my family. I'm fighting for my family. I'm voting for my family. And I'm voting for black people like me trying to do the same damn thing. There are black people out here that don't want to turn to crime. They don't want to do bad things. They don't want to do horrible things. I'm one of those men. And Gary Lamb, I fully support your message. 
Thank you for inspiring us. Thank you for showing us that it is possible, despite struggles, despite the fact that everybody has something of adverse that happens to them in their lives, to overcome it, to keep going, to keep plotting, to keep seeing the road ahead and going down it. Thank you, Gary Lamb, for your message. This is why your message took off, because it's one of hope, because we all recognize that person that is struggling within us that wants to do better, that wants to do better for our families, for other people, that wants to contribute, that wants to have a fair shake and an opportunity to succeed. Many blessings to everybody out there. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And Gary, if you see this message, good on you, man. Good on you. Peace out.